hi and welcome to my youtube channel my name is lola fafi if you are new here do not forget to subscribe like and share this video and also check around we have lots and lots of amazing and um, educative videos on the channel in this video we are going to be learning how to prepare snail for export if you've been meaning to go into exportation business and um, dried snail is one of the products you would like to sell abroad this is the right video for you to watch so in this video uh, for this video I have 40 pieces of snail for a client um, they are not so big and not small so this is what the customer requested so you wash your snail ensure to wash your snail you can use your sponge you can um, also use whatever you are comfortable with just ensure you wash it you can see how dirty the water is so then we are just going to go ahead and wash it the second time just to be sure our snail is clean so then when you are done washing you need these two um, equipment or do I call them um, the big knife and the small knife then you use the big knife to break so this is how i break my own um uh, snail i break it from the bottom part i just break a little so then i use a small knife to roll the snail out if that makes sense you dip the small knife and roll you turn your hand then you have your snail instead of breaking the shell and getting the shell all over the place just break the tip of the snail so then you dip the small knife and then you roll it out so this is me removing all the you know the stomach part the all the bad parts we can't eat so then this is me showing you again break the down part you can use the sharp side of the big knife or the other side it does not have to be this knife you can use any knife you can find in your kitchen just something heavy that can break the shell of a you know a big snail So this is it after I've um, removed all the shells. So this is 40 pieces of medium sized snail. So then I'm going to break my uh, alum into little particles. Then I did pour, I poured some water into the bowl and added the alum. So then um, I used lime juice you just have to squeeze out the juice from the lime and just pour it into the water this is just to get rid of the slime the you know snail is always very you know very slimy so the lime and alum would get rid of any slime in your snail so then you start cutting in between your snail just to reveal the middle and to get rid of the slippery and get rid of the slippery um, slimy uh, juice in the middle.
so this is what it looks like after cutting in the middle ensure to always cut the your your snail in the middle just to you know get rid of all the slimy juice So this is the second wash i poured in some water into my bowl then i added um lime just cut your lime into two and then just drop it into the water you can decide to squeeze a little juice out before dropping it into the water because you see that um the lime is going to be very useful for us while washing the second um time so then you see all these back parts you know just ensure you clean your snail thoroughly because you know if you want your customers to keep coming back you have to be very neat with your product with whatever you know they are going to eat this so you don't want them to start singing all these death dirty uh stuffs hanging behind or within your snail so to help clean this you'd help you have to use the the lime so you rub the lime on the on the snail to clean it thoroughly and dip your fingers into every nook and cranny of the snail just to bring out any dirty thing that that's not coming out you know easily you get me if that makes sense So after washing the second time, just pour your snail into a pot, add some onions, chopped onions. So in this tiny bowl, tiny bowl I have um, some seasoning cubes, curry, thyme and salt. So you just add it to the, you add the mixture to the snail then you had two cups i had two cups of water it depends on the quantity of your of your snail so then i stir so then you place on the stove and allow to cook for about 20 minutes so then you Turn on your oven and allow to eat up on a low to medium heat. So this is me turning it off on while my snail boil. So this is after 20 minutes. Trust me, the aroma that is coming from this snail, eh, it's filled up my house. Everywhere was just so smelling so good <laughs> so then this is after I, had to, I, I brought out the tray in the oven just to arrange the snail and this has been arranging the snail i poured the snail into a sieve and um, i allowed the water to sieve out Just, I just basically arranged the snail on the pan.
so then this is it after arranging it and um i placed it into the oven So then I did went back and placed the removed the tray and placed it a little bit lower. This is it. This is where I was trying to remove because the micro uh, the oven was so hot and um, it was you know drying the snail so fast and I do not want that. So I had to just move it down and I reduced the the temperature so this is it after about um, two hours so I'm just going to this is what I use to package the snail so the snail is super super dry that is what I'm trying to show you here it is so dry and um, I'm just going to package it into the zip lock bag and um, it is ready for shipping. So thank you so much for watching guys. Do not forget to subscribe, like and share this video to your loved ones. And this is what it looks like after packaging. See you in my next one. Bye.